All right, the Tygo optimizers. I installed some over there at my parents' house. Basically, we put six of them on the side of their house, and then put another nine on the top panels on their array on that patio that I built. So I'll go ahead and show you that. You know, I didn't put the ones on the bottom because, like a lot of people said, I probably didn't need them because those were in the sun most of the time. And we're going to go ahead and see how those panels have been doing, basically, with the Tygo optimizer zone. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and pull up the app basically on the desktop, the monitoring program, and show you how it's been doing. As you can see, we got 2.2K coming in right now off those, what, 15 panels. So we can go ahead and go to the, uh, the system view. And you can see each panel, how much power is brought in for today already. So, you know, the panels on the uh, pergola, which get the sun first, you can see some of those have pulled in 400 and some watts while some of them have only pulled in 200 or some so we'll see how much power is pulling in right now as you can see right now you know the panels on the side you can see which ones are in the most shade you know because they're a little bit lower this panel right here is actually a smaller panel the a4 the 305 watt all the rest of them are the 395 watt panels but been super cloudy out there today you know we had thunderstorms rolling in last night and then over the next week i think we got thunderstorms and and cloudy conditions every single day but that's what these optimizers are made for so if you have let's look earlier in the morning so if you have the panels you know at certain points of the day you know if all of these were on the same string you know and someone's only pulling in you know 52 watts the most any of those panels are going to pull in is 52 watts but with the optimizers you're going to have time like let's go look at the day before you know we can look at different times and so, you know, you got, you got this one panel pulling in 226 watts, and all these six are in a string together. So the most any of them could pull in would be 226 watts. So basically, you have almost 100 watts for each panel. You got another 75, 150, 300. So you got another 425 watts that you're able to pull in because you're using the optimizers. So that's the thing with these optimizers. You can bring in as much power as you can with each individual panel regardless if another one's in shading or not. And that's going to make your system way more efficient. And that's what these optimizers are all about. Plus they have rapid shutdown and other stuff that we're not going to talk about right now because we're just trying to bring in as much power as possible. That's the whole point of this. And as you can see at 1130 yesterday, you know, all nine of these panels right here are in a string together. And one of them's only pulling in 160 watts. So none of them will pull in more than 160 watts. You know, if these didn't have optimizers, but some of them are able to pull in 258, 252, 253, 223, because those aren't in the sun, and these three are getting shaded by the house. You know, so with those getting shaded by the house, you know, you're able to optimize the power you're bringing in for each individual panel, and you're bringing in more power than my family did before. And so before, the most I ever seen them pull in in a day with this exact setup was like, you know, 40 some kilowatts and now we're able to get over 50 kilowatts so i think maybe 52 maybe the max i've seen so far we'll go ahead and check that out to see what kind of power they brought in to see and some of the days like i said I haven't been super sunny i had a lot of cloudy days since i've installed them i can't remember it might have been like a week and a half ago that we installed these things but let's go over to the eg4 monitoring app so as you can see right now over at my parents house super cloudy and they're only bringing in uh let's see here maybe about 2500 watts right now and as you can see with the 18 kpv they have some power that's getting consumed and then some power that's coming from the grid and see they've all brought in so far today 8.8 .8 kilowatts which is pretty low but like i said it's been super super dark and cloudy out there today and you can see the energy they brought in they brought in 48 kilowatts from the grid so definitely not the best day to look at this thing Let's go look at a different day and see what we got. So as you can see, the solar production they had for yesterday, which we had those thunderstorms and all that stuff, they brought in 41.7 kilowatts. The day before, they brought in 45 kilowatts. Day before that, 47 kilowatts. Day before that, 50.3 kilowatts. Day before that, 51.5 kilowatts. So with these optimizers, you know, they've been able to bring in a lot more power, even on some of these days as being cloudy, you know, than they would before. So let's go back to last month and go look at some of their good days so you know they pulled in 38 kilowatts on this day 
44.6. That's probably one of the highest they have in a 45.8. In the mid 40s, I think kilowatts is the maximum they brought in before the Tygo optimizers. And now, you know, with them, they've been able to bring in over 50 on good days. But like I said, they still been bringing in 40 something, even on the bad days. Yesterday, we had terrible thunderstorms, like, like clouds rolling through all day, and then terrible thunderstorms starting about four o'clock in the afternoon, five o'clock. Very, very dark out there. So you weren't barely bringing any power at all. And they still brought in 41.7 kilowatts on their array, which is it's about 9.3 kilowatts. So 9.3 times five, you know, so they should be averaging on a good day, 46 and a half kilowatts. And they're bringing in 50 something, you know, so, you know, the industry standard is to multiply it times five, whatever your array size is. And that's should be what you average on a good day. And they're bringing it over that. So they're doing pretty good because of those optimizers, bringing in over 50 kilowatts on good days and even bringing in 45 or 46 on days that aren't great. So would I recommend these optimizers? A hundred percent. I would. The cost is not that bad especially if you're trying to optimize your system and be as efficient as possible. So right now, Signature Solar, let's go look it up. So as you can see, you would need the Tygo Connect Kit basically as $310, and then the optimizers are $43, you know, if you just want to do the optimization. Because this, this kit right here is going to come with everything you need, including the tap. And, you know, however many panels you have, that's how many of these Tygo optimizers you're going to get. So... Definitely not a bad deal at all. And you can use the code RodneyHunt50 and get $50 off any order over $500. And I'll leave that down in the description, of course. I'm going to be putting some of these on, on my system, on my tilt array. On my tilt array, it's shaded in the morning by my house. So half of the panels are in the sun, but it's not pulling in barely any power because I don't have optimizers on it. So I'm going to be doing a full install on that. And I'll make a video of the full install. Because I did record some of this stuff at my parents' house, kind of how I install everything, but the stuff just didn't come out good. So I'm going to do a totally different video for that. But I just want to show you what kind of power they were bringing in and that they are working, and I do recommend them. And I'm going to do a full install video for the Tygo stuff on my own system. So if you're interested in that, make sure you stick around. And if you like these kind of videos, hey, think about hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, and thanks for watching.